Hello, hello, everybody. Welcome or welcome back. Thank you guys so, so much for joining me here at for the engagement series. This DIY is actually a little bit different because this is not just for an engagement party. You can literally use these storage cups for anything. They are so, so pretty. And I have a few uses in mind that I will be having um, for them later on. So we're just going to jump right in. So guys, you can do this one of two ways. You can use spray paint or you can use paint that is for glass. And I opted to use spray paint. For some reason, I thought it would be easier. But if I ever did this again, I might use regular paint because you can be a little more precise with it. Um, so here I am just taping off how I want my design with painter's tape. Painter's tape is gonna make sure your lines are crisp and it's going to um, keep the spray paint going to the area you want it to go in. So that's why I'm using that. And um, I'm actually using sandwich bags. I would suggest you guys use saran wrap or wax paper because that's a little easier to use. I just didn't have any on hand. Um, I didn't have any saran wrap on hand and I didn't think about wax paper until after I um, started doing the cups. Here I just taped off everything and the exposed area is the only part that I am working on. So everything else is covered up. And um, I spray painted two layers for each cup because I wanted to make sure it was opaque. And here you see me taping off the next cup and um, starting to spray paint that one as well. And that was just the rhythm that I kept. So each time I finished some cups I put them to the side and I let them um, dry so I can work so I can add the next layer it was super easy to do and it did not require a lot of work in order to do the bottom of the cups I flipped the cup upside down but I also put some wax paper around the rim of the cup because I wanted to make sure that I did not get any spray paint on the rim this is a super easy DIY. It is not hard at all. Um, and you can do whatever you please. Just make sure if you do the spray paint, you are in an open area. If you guys choose to use spray paint like I did, I will let you know that if you put your spray paint on a really thick layer the first go round, you'll get a lot of runs with the spray paint down um, the side of your glass. So I did a lot of short bursts um, of spray paint and I also waited for it to dry before I did an additional coat. You want to make sure you do that because you want it to be neat. You don't want a lot of runs on the side of your glass. So be aware of what you're doing. I get so tempted to just spray paint it all at one time, but that does not look good. So fair warning guys, don't make the same mistake I did. So guys, I dressed mine up a little. This is just a piece of fabric that I had in my collection that I just cut and I tied into a bow around the glass. And also, if you notice the little touch of gold around the rim, I used my gold leaf pin that I got from Michaels. It was about six bucks and um, I actually use it in another DIY from this same series. So go back and check out the letters and you'll see exactly which pin I'm talking about. Each one, I wanted to do something pretty different. So with this glass, I decided to use Mod Podge and put glitter in between the gold spray paint and the white spray paint, and it gave it an amazing touch. You can use your glasses for flowers. These are some silk, silk flowers that I got from the dollar store, literally three bucks for three bundles of flowers. You can also use this cup for utensils. I balled up a piece of tissue paper, stuffed it in the bottom of the cup, and popped my forks and spoons and knives in there, and that worked out really great for the um, engagement party. You can also pop some napkins in there. I did that as well. Um, and if you have a million and one paint brushes like I do, that's another way you can use this cup. Um, and you can also use it for makeup brushes. So, and it's super pretty, so you can have it on display in the bathroom. You can use it in your office for your writing utensils. And um, basically anything that fits in there, you can use it for that, which makes this amazing party decor because you don't just have to use it for a party. I'm one of those people that really loves to have multi-uses for things. So 
This is what I would use them for. Comment down below what you would use them for. Give me some more ideas how I can incorporate it into my home decor. I really want to thank you guys so, so much for sticking through and watching to the end of the video. I can't wait to hear more ideas from you guys. Have a great morning, a great evening, and a great night. I love you guys. Comment, like, and subscribe. Bye.